<laughs> God is so awesome. All the time. All the time. God is awesome. All right, we're not gonna have a real long. I, I mean, I'm ready. I'm ready to go. Ready to let it rip. But we got a, we got a little special guest to honor tonight, and she's kind of wore out. So I'm gonna go ahead, and I'm not. I'm gonna let her sleep back right there, and and we're just gonna go. Just we're just gonna do something real short, and then we're gonna bring her in here, and we're gonna let her celebrate. <laughs> Amen. Start, but we're gonna. About Twenty years behind. All I want to do is quick. Cause we were talking about uh, our purpose. And everybody in here, there's not one person in here that does not have a purpose. Did you know that? No matter what you may think, there's not one person in here that does not have a purpose. There's not one purpose in here, one person in here that doesn't have something that God wants them to do. And so, uh, just real quick, not a long with no long speeches. Just <clears throat> can you do it in in Let's say 15 seconds. I can do it. The number one reason that we were all created by God. Why you think about it now? And then they go through and talk about it. They can all have the, and after I tell you what I'm thinking, y'all can all have the same thing and that's fine. And after we talk about it, then we're going to go bring Bethany in here. And we're going to let have some cake. Uh, and I'll thank y'all for coming. And this means a lot to her too. Okay, so, but every one of us has got a purpose, including Bethany. Bethany's in on this, all of us. God, God didn't just create us to work. Okay, get that out of your head. Because God had angels to do his work. God didn't just create us to worship him. Because he had angels worship. So why did God create us? The garden is the perfect picture. God created us in his image with, with, uh, uh, as a free moral agent that we can communicate and commune with him. He was lonely. That's right. And he wanted somebody to talk to that he doesn't make talk to them. They want to talk to him. They want to worship him. They want to commune with him. And so he would go in the cool of the day and he would commune with them. Okay? You can commune with, I can commune with my dog and I love communing with my dog. And the cool thing is I can tell my dog anything because he wags his tail and not his tongue. <laughs> 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 okay? Uh, and I, I enjoy uh, uh, watching television and reading the Bible, but there's some times where I just need to talk to someone. We're all like that. Some people more than others, and that's okay because God created us all different. But God created us to have a relationship with Him. So you wouldn't know, oh, I don't have a purpose with God. Your purpose automatically, up front, number one, is to have a relationship with Him. Okay? And in that relationship, it includes worship. It includes communication. It includes prayer. It includes reading His Word. All that stuff. That's all part of the ways you communicate with Him. But God created us that He could have somebody. Look, how would you like to talk? I, uh, my, my grandkids had this. I, I bought it for them. This little bird. You stuck up on the thing. You go and you go. Uh, What's your name, bird? And you take your finger off the button. And it goes. What's your name, bird? Okay. My name is John. My name is John. Well, that's what the angels have to do. They're, you know, that's what they do. They do what they're told to do. We get to talk to God and tell Him how we feel, how we actually feel, and we get to tell Him how we love Him. And so, that's really the only thing you can give God because He's got everything. Okay, but but your heart and and your your spirit and your your ability to communicate. So, if you can't think of anything else right now, and this is all, I don't want you to go through a whole long list. But I'm just going to tell you primarily what I know. My purpose in God is, and it's in Psalm 103, verse 1. Bless the Lord, O my soul. And remember, the difference in soul and spirit. Spirit is pneuma, okay? And that's, that's uh, breath. But then the, the soul is actually psyche. It's your ability to communicate. So, bless the Lord with all my soul and all that is within me. 
Bless his holy name. Wow. So now my number one purpose out of everything is not to be a, is to be a great dad, to be a great provider, to be a great protector, to be a great pastor, whatever. All those are there. That's all the facets. But my number one thing, if I lose sight of that number one thing, the rest of it is going to hurt. And that is, bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within me. Communicate with him. So, after saying that, you know, go down the line. Just keep going down the line quickly. Like I said, 10, 15 seconds. And, and again, uh, and if you want to say that, that's fine too. Because you know what? This, this is one time being a copycat is not a bad thing. Okay, you're not going to get a pleasure. When I leave, they always had to go through this little plagiarism thing. I got to put everything through a plagiarism checker, you know, to make sure I, it's my stuff and not somebody else's. Well, this one here is God's. Bless the Lord, all my soul, and all is within me. And, and if David could use if that other David can use it, this David can use it. The other David wrote it. I'm just using it. <laughs> Amen. So, so, again, tell me. Just real quick, what you feel, and if you want to say something else, that's fine too, because I'm not saying anything other than this, but y'all can say whatever you want to. I believe my primary purpose is to commune with God because He desires to have a relationship with me. Okay. <laughs> I agree with you, and when others see us worship Him, we may be leading them to Him. That's cool. That's awesome. awesome. We don't know, but we're doing something for the Lord that somebody else is watching it. That's right. And, it, and it's speaking to them. Wayne did that to me the other week. <laughs> I've been hurting so bad lately. And last night, we were laying there praying, and I said, Wayne said the other week, if we just watched those babies go into the Shriners, we would never complain. And I'm trying to remember that. That's right. That's good. That's good. I believe my purpose in life is to be a follower of Jesus, be a better husband, a better father. That's right. So that other people can see me and grow closer, closer to Christ. That's awesome. That's awesome. Sister Mary? Me, hey, Mary? <laughs> Your purpose? I don't know what to say. If I get a talk and I get a coffee. Well, we know, what, we know what your purpose is. Your purpose is to be an awesome child of God. And also, <laughs> I just thank the Lord that I've lived this long. And I got the thing the other day, July's coming up. How old will you be? I think I'd be? I might not be here, but oh, how old will you I be? I thank the Lord every day. How old will she be? How old will you be? Huh? How old will you be, Aunt Mary? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> how old will you be? Ninety-four. Wow! That's awesome. That's awesome. <laughs> All right, Eddie. Selfie. <laughs> Selfie, yeah. Um, to do what got the devil kicked out of heaven. To be like God. To be like Jesus. For what got Satan kicked out of heaven is what got, gets us born again. Well, he, he actually wanted to be above him. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. well, he said, I'll put my throne in the sides of the north and I'll be like the Most High. Yeah. But he meant above him? Yeah. Okay. That's right. That's right. That's good. That's good. Gene? Well, I'm going to be a copycat because I love what you said, David, but also to keep Wayne straight. <laughs> But it, that's number two in the pecking order. <laughs> and then 
our children and our grandchildren. That's right. To That's be right. there for them. That's right. That's an impossible thing. <laughs> uh, I'm going to copy you today on the first thing, but the second thing is is being willing to commit to what God wants you to do. That's right. That's, that's Able right. to do it because a lot of times God will tell us to do something and we don't do it. And about a week or so later we said we should have done that. So we need to be, you know, have them in our soul, blessing our soul, but we need to bless him by him telling us what to do. That's right. And follow through with it. That's right. That's good. That's good. I like... Uh, not relying on my own self, but putting my trust and faith in the good Lord. That's good. And try to make my wife feel a little better. Good. We heard it. 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 It's on tape. It's on record now. You said that. I feel like my purpose in life, one of my purposes, is to overcome obstacles that God puts in my path. And and I know that he's put them here, and he gets me through those. Amen. That's good. That's good. <laughs> you got Kitty. I'm sorry, see, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to mean the passion. Go ahead. Let her I've read. been because... I, you were hiding sort of, behind him. I couldn't of see you. afraid to speak. No, no, I couldn't see you. Anyway, I wanted to... God wants me to do. And right now, He wants me to do something that I don't know what He wants me to do because I don't even have anywhere to be. But you will. You will. You'll find, you'll find And that. everywhere I go so far, that isn't it. And I asked Him and asked Him. And um, I guess. I have to just wait and listen, and I've always been told, Giddy, you don't listen. <laughs> you don't listen, and I'm so tired of, and I'm trying to listen really hard, and, um, but I want to really listen, because I do know when God speaks His Word, you don't, you know when He speaks. And I want to love everybody, and I want to give everything I got. But I need to do. Amen. 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 Amen, sister. All right, now, Brother Ben, now it's your turn. I'm sorry. Well, I believe that the Lord knew my six children were going to be around one day. I knew that they were going to. He knew that they were going to be here before they were even born. I think he created me to be a good example to those six children and to this this lovely lady right here too. How about that? So awesome. I, I just truly I wanted to make sure I've always wanted to make sure that those children of mine followed my example and that when they got older they could do the same thing for my grandchildren. Mm -hmm. So I, I just that's my whole purpose really. That's awesome. That's awesome. Well, my purpose is to take care of Ben here and <laughs> thank and ask God to make me a better person every day. Amen. Amen. <laughs> it's Vicky. Oh, I have a short She's got list. a whole page down here. <laughs> <laughs> that literary act. <laughs> <That's laughs> <right. laughs> to follow with faith, lead when I can, love others, have patience, share my talents, and trust tomorrow. That was awesome. Yeah, that was awesome input. I like that. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Depend yeah. that. Mine's just to love the Lord and be a good wife. There you go. That's good. That's good. Love the Lord and be a good wife. You know, everybody in this room has a part to do. And I think it's it's not our ability, but our availability. That's right. So we just got to keep on keeping on. When we, even when we don't think we can, got to keep on. Yep. So, You're right. So that's the being, being to, to worship God and keep on worshiping. That's right. God wanted all of us to be here on this earth 
And because of that, and why he was here, so he could communicate. If everybody was like me, it would be a very boring world. If everybody was like any one of us, just, just what to pick anyone in here. And if everybody was like that one person, life would get boring fast. Amen? Amen. That's right. So, you, so God allowed us to be all this way, all by different. Yeah. Even I've got twin, I've got identical twin brothers. Our own children mix them up. But they are so different. Everybody's different. You know, so God likes all of us to communicate with Him. Amen? Um, if, if you and me were exactly alike, one of us would be unnecessary. And guess which one I would pick? <laughs> oh, okay, yeah. Lord, we thank you for this group. We thank you for their, their desire to serve you, God, and their desire, Lord, to be like you. And I thank you, God, that they're here tonight, Lord, to help share Bethany's birthday. And, Lord, let Bethany be able to, to have a good time tonight. In the name of Jesus, we pray in church, said? Amen. 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 All right.